I'm back. Same outfit, same thing, whatever. It's just a continuous recording. I just don't want to have like a whole hour recording on my channel. So anyway, back to the story about Destiny. So Destiny, little black girl, third grade. She was cool. I liked her. She lived in my neighbor. I like liked her, like her, but she was cool. She lived in my neighborhood. She was cool. We were like close friends. And then, of course, we had to move. There's also another person in my neighborhood. They were like a uh, Pakistani. They were cool. Mama didn't like them too much, though, because I would always come back home smelling like Indian food or Pakistani food, which I didn't particularly mind. Like, I was straight chilling, but I got ringworm once. And I was like, you never going over there ever again. And it was sad. But anyway, this girl Destiny, like, I don't know who she is. I don't know, like, Popping! what she does. I don't know how. Like, I don't know what her name is. Last name, nothing. I don't have any, like, yearbooks. Absolutely fucking nothing. Which is sad because, like, she was a cool girl. And I, like, I don't know. I just want to know, like, what she's doing with her life, you know? Like, if she's. Like, would she. Where she go to college? Like, is she alive? If she got any kids? Is she married? no clue anything about this girl which is sad because like like I said she was a cool girl and like yeah there's that so oh oh my god okay we're gonna just hide down here it's fine, until my health recharges. Oh shit. Nigga. Stay in your fucking lane, my dude. So, I don't know. I doubt you'll ever see this. But, if any of y'all know a Destiny that went to Baltimore Highlands in like, 2003? Help me find her. Cause I don't know. I, I'm just curious about like her life. That was, I would say that was like one of my first childhood friends. Like like I, that I like remember ever existing, which is like crazy, you know. So then anyway, <laughs> bitch, you ain't got no armor now. How about that? You ain't got shit. We just gonna keep dancing around this little thing, aren't we? I have like no strong enough weapons. I need like a shotgun or something. Oh god. I'm gonna kill you before you kill me, bitch. Oh my god. At least try to. Shit. What the hell is happening? I don't slap and understand. Slapping? You're in an impossible place where time is wrong and you can't die. Oh. This is slapping weird. I'm freaking out. You gotta get me out of here. I mean, I'll get you out if your ass fucking follows me. So, we didn't stay at, and... I, like, oh, I lived in townhouses, too. Like, I can't even remember what they were called. By then, and my, I had a, I have a sister as well. She was born in 2001, so... Chillin'. Oh, that reminds me. All right, so bet. So this other, please, other like apartments we lived in. I like explicitly remember that like during the summer months, like my ass would be out here. We would like uh, put like Kool Aid or whatever, like some type of juice, like a red juice, and like a and like a styrofoam cup, cup, and then freeze that shit. Yeah, and then sell it for like a dollar. Yo, like that was the move. That's how you would make. That's how you would make mad coin over the summer because, like, I mean, whatever. But I would also like be around and like scootering and shit, which is like always cute. How do I exit the simulation? All the way back to the beginning of the thing, right? Oh, we might as well just go back the way we came. Um. Anyway, my sister was born in two thousand and one. I'm pretty sure. Either third grade might have been the year where my sister cut off a ponytail. I don't remember. But anyway, so after being in Baltimore City, so that's Baltimore County, up until, up until I was about seven, eight years old, we moved to uh, Anne Arundel County. 
which is like the suburbs. It's also the county where the capital of Maryland is located. So the capital of Maryland is Annapolis. And so I started going to school at uh, Old Mill Middle North for that middle school for the rest of elementary school. So fourth grade um, and fifth grade. Fourth grade. I had a black teacher named Miss May. She was like the coolest black teacher I've ever had. Also one of the only black teachers I ever had in like my like K through 12 education, which is wild. And I remember being in this English class surrounded by like all these white people, which was weird for me because like I was used to going to schools with not white people. And so I was going to school with all these white folk, which is cool. And I remember, like, the very first day of classes, they were, like, reading, like, a thing about Mae Jemison. Mae Jemison was the first black uh, ash- black female astronaut. And I remember reading it in one of those thick-ass anthologies, things that they have you read. And, like, that's what we were doing. And that's what I was reading. And I volunteered to read on my first day because, like I said, like, I, li- I love to read. Like, my mother made sure, like, I read growing up. Like, I was always reading because she knew that education is your one way of being successful in life. And so she made sure my ass was always reading something. So on that day, like, um, I read the little chapter. And it was weird because Miss May says to me, she's like, wow, you read very well. And it kind of caught me off guard because, like, one who says that I like, can like okay but it genuinely was a compliment because those other kids didn't really read like they could read but it wasn't the same and so that was like my very first day like I was happy that ha- that happened like I felt very proud I was like wow first day of school whatever but that also kind of put like like a what do you call it like a target on my back in a sense because like this wasn't the first day of school like this was maybe like the second month of school maybe so these kids have already been this class for like a while now and here I come little black girl from the hood more or less like making them all look stupid which I mean so they they all some of them felt some kind of way because they're just like who is this girl coming out of nowhere reading all well and etc so obviously elementary school i don't have any friends and so the teacher miss may um she gives me like a i guess like a peer to like like walk around with me show me the ropes make sure i have a friend which is which was nice of her because like most people don't give a fuck like granted it was fourth grade you are a new kid so i can understand why like you would go out of your way to make the kid feel comfortable because that's just like what you do you know so anyway the person she pairs me up with is a girl named Ju Young she is Korean however back then I just thought she was Chinese because like I didn't know any Asian people so I just assumed that she was Chinese because like I don't know I didn't know any other people of color so I'm just like yeah Chinese tells me she's Korean um we kind of I find this out later that Ji Young did not like me because Ji Young was the top of the class in fourth grade in math English reading all that jazz and I came out of nowhere being better at her at English because English was her second language and she didn't like me too much so she just showed me what I needed to know and that was literally about it so outside of that there were these other girls Tiffany and I want to say Allison these two girls were obsessed with horses. Why? I don't Next. fucking know. But these bitches were obsessed with horses. And when I say obsessed with horses, I mean they were, like, during recess, they would be, they would literally be, tr- they would trot. And they would literally trot around, like, the, the playground. And to be honest, me coming from Baltimore City slash county, I was not about to be caught out here trotting around the goddamn the fucking the playground yeah. the playground like everyone thought they were weird because they were they probably aren't like that now which is great but back then it was it was weird so during that time recess like they 
Tiffany and Alice, and I'm guessing are there as what my memory, what I remember, they were kind of my only friends because, like I said, Ju Young didn't like me because I could read better and I was better at English, which is fine. And I was a new kid, so all these relationships were already established. They've known each other already. But Tiffany and Ashley, I mean, Allison were the outcasts, and so they befriended me. They were cool. But after a while, just like, this little horse shit, like, I'm not into it. Like, this ain't gonna work for me, Slim. And so eventually, I started trying to hang out with Jung more because she seemed like a cool cur like a cool person. Let's talk to Vic real quick. What a slapping nightmare. Thanks for getting me out of there. Vic! You're, you're alive! I mean, technically. He's talking to me! Hey, Vaughn. Look, I'm a slapping idiot. The COV are messed up. We tried joining them and all they did was murder and torture us. In that order. That's tough. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to be pretty brutal with you right now, Vic. I'm gonna need you to give me a hundred apology push-ups. When you're done, come join me. We got a new clan now. Go Crimson Raiders. Crimson Raiders? Yeah, I can dig it. Hey, as long as you're doing the push-ups. Oh, hey. You saved my slap in life. Here, I nabbed this crazy gun while we were in that never-ending digital hell prison. You can have it. It's all yours. Do I want it though? Well, this is awkward. Oh, come on. I mean, I always wanted more me time, right? This is perfect. I get to hang with my favorite person. Yourself? I mean, are you me or am I you? Whoa. Mind blown, right? And I'm like 80% mind right now. Do I need to, like, feed you or whatever? I think whatever this stuff I'm floating in is keeping me going. I don't even have a digestive system anymore. But I do have taste buds. How about you just drip some gravy in here for me? You're living the dream! Maybe getting connected to a torture device for a simulated eternity of unspeakable horrors wasn't such a bad deal after all. Yeah, high five! Dude, not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Right. Sorry. I'm dead. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, Jiang wasn't trying to talk to me. It took her a hot minute to, like, what's what I'm looking for? I guess, uh, warm up to me. So, there was that. But eventually, she befriended me, and it's funny, because get her, I, I was, I thought that being weird was the thing that people did, because I guess I remember I was surrounded, because, you know, I was surrounded by weirdos, and so sometimes you gotta act a little weird to get a little weird, right? So, um, I remember doing this thing with my hands, like a, oh my god, because like, I don't know. I was trying to figure out how to fit in with all these white people. And, you know, after watching television with mostly white people, you notice that they do weird shit like that. Like, no lie. And so that's what I did. I tried my best to do... I tried my best to fit in. And by doing the weirdest shit, did it work? Um, did it work? Who knows? But, you know... You do what you can when you can with what you can. Was it my shining moment? No. It's like fucking up here and then like it's like back this way. And oh, how do I get up there? There's supposed to be like a like a level. Do I jump over? Or if I jump over, it's just gonna bring me back down there's like no hmm I'm trying to follow this typography oh so it is over here okay nigga so eventually i have a friend ju young and we come to the decision or conclusion that i can help her with all things english and she can help her with all things math because i suck at math and i so do suck at math i hate math with burning passion math is the devil it's helpful, it gets you good careers, but outside of that, math can go suck my dick. Okay, 
So anyway, Jung and I are friends in Miss May's class. You know, we're cool. She likes me. Everything is great. I have friends now type shit. So I was happy about that. Because like I said, them fucking horse bitches were doing a little bit too much and ruining my street cred. You know, it's not... Being the smart kid is just not helpful sometimes. But in this case, it worked out in my favor. So I go to Old Mill for... Old Mill North for two more years because we don't move. We stay in the same... Well, we move in different apartments here and there. But we don't, like, go outside of Anne Arundel County. Because Anne Arundel County had the good schools. And Baltimore City and Baltimore County schools aren't typically that great, at least back then. I don't know how they are now. They're probably fine. Do I care? Not particularly. Am I happy that my mom pulled me out of school? Yes, I am. I changed my school? Yes, I am. So there's that. Um, so after Old Mill, I go to Old Mill. Well, Old Mill is kind of a compound. Hold on, what is he saying? Guess which one's still standing, bro? Death to mountains! Anyway, so Old Mill is kind of like a compound. Not a compound in the sense where like it's all one building, but there's... Wait! It wasn't Old Mill Elementary, it was fucking Southgate. Went to Southgate Elementary, home of the Tigers. I'm losing my goddamn mind. Anyway, Southgate Elementary for those two years. It's fine. The rest of the story is fine. It's just the names. After going to Southgate, I went to Old Mill Middle North. Now, Old Mill Middle North is a compound in the sense where... Excuse me. In the sense where there's a middle school, and there's two middle schools actually, Old Mill Middle North, and then Old Mill Middle South. Old Mill Middle North is where the cool kids went, Old Mill Middle South is where all the weirdos went to school at. I say weirdos because, like, the kids are fucking weird. And, like, I'm gonna stay by that. The kids are weird. How the hell? What the fuck? I can't. This is not working for me. Bring your ass down here, boy. Bring. Oh my god. He threw a grenade at me. I'm gonna explode. It's fine. How the hell do I get up there is the question. I like pistols. I don't know why what I do. So I go to Old Middle North for some time. And by for some time, I mean my entire time in middle school. Like I said, it's a compound. And so since it's a compound, it's like... Old Mill North, Old Mill South, and then the high school was also attached. So when you walked into Old Mill, there's like when you walked into Old Mill, there was like uh, there's like the main lobby, like atrium type thing that you go into, and then outside the atrium, you go left for Mill North, I believe, and you go right for Middle South, which is fine. And then from there, um. So straight forward is the high is where the high school was. So I went to Old Mill North six through um, ninth. I mean seventh, sixth grade through seventh grade or sixth grade through eighth grade. So I went to Old Mill, Mill North. I was in concert band. Um, I was in the chorus for a hot second because I can kind of sing. I can hold a tune. I can't sing sing, but like I have a strong alto voice. I would say. Um, but yeah, so I went there and up until 8th grade. Shout out to Mr. Churchill, my band teacher. He's probably dead. He was he was old when I was in middle school. He's probably dead now, but I, I'm unsure if he is. That's sad. R.I.P. Mr. Churchill, if you're still, if you're dead. If you're not dead, Mr. Churchill, keep it up. I don't remember anyone snagging that picture, but I can't blame him. Those are my trusty Hyperion Red Bar X2000s with Quicksilver Fly and No-Rise Banding. Oh, best underwear in the universe, bro. It's the only good thing Hyperion ever gave me. No-Rise Banding. Nice. Just between you and me, they're the source of all my power. Oh. So anyway. Um, yeah, there for middle school. <sighs> and then from there... I transferred to, uh, like, Old Mill, Old Mill High School. 
But middle school was an interesting time. In middle school, like seventh grade, I uh, acquired a kidney disease called nephrotic syndrome. So where you're like your like the protein from your body pretty much leaks into your urine, which is a fun thing. And if it gets real bad, they have to put you on dialysis. Fortunately, I didn't have to get put on dialysis. But however, they did put me on steroids. Oh, checkpoint. And that's where all the problems started because it was right before winter break, like the week before winter break. I was in the hospital literally up until Christmas, which is not fun. Man, we've come a long way since Bandit Selfies. You know, back when I started my first Bandit Clan, you wanted to. I'm going to take this. I could literally just keep going around, but I don't want to because there's nothing there. So if you got to bloody up your face real good and then smash it on a rock. Who do those Calypso twins think they are anyway? Gods? You know, some. Three shit. We called my Pex Divine once. That's pretty much the same thing. Oh shit. Okay. Time for a fight. Oh god. Oh shit, he like blew up. Um, so anyway, I contracted this lovely kidney disease and they put me on prednisone. If you know anything about prednisone, you will know that it is a steroid and uh, an anabolic steroid, I'm pretty sure. It's not one that increases your performance or anything, but one that pretty much makes you into a fat slob. Which it did. And so, in high in middle school, 6th, 7th grade, I was probably maybe, like, well, maybe 90, 70, 80, 90 pounds. Damn, I killed her, and then she shot me. Fuck. I'm dead, it's fine. That's fine. So then I contracted a kidney disease and they gave me in a box steroids. I gained like 50 pounds. I came back from winter break being like 70, 80, 90 pounds to being like 130, 140, 160. And on that note, I'm at my little limit. So, uh, $748 to reconstruct if you lost your goddamn mind. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it's Cleo Games on everything Twitter, YouTube. Just do the thing. Share with all your friends. Be the best you can be, but I'm out for like two seconds.